So what happens when human bodies die? Once the body dies, blood is no longer being pumped round the body. Those parts of the body needing large amounts of energy for their normal activity cease functioning rapidly, whilst others that require less energy remain intact for longer. This is why in organ transplantation some items need to be removed very soon after death, like kidneys, hearts and livers. They need to be removed within 30 minutes, but skin grafts still, still can be useful after 12 hours. However, the quicker they are removed, the better the chances of successful transplantation. Some common myths about the body are that when it dies, the hair and fingernails continue to grow after death. But what actually happens is that they stay the same and the skin retracts, giving the appearance of growth. The other uh, common one is that worms will actually eat the body. But worms eat decaying vegetable matter like leaves, so they're not going to eat a body buried in the earth. Instead, the body is consumed from the inside out. The human body contains billions of bacteria which consume the body when they are no longer being regulated by the body's own internal systems. The bacteria grow and multiply, digesting the soft tissue of the body, generally centred on the torso, progressing out towards the limbs and the head. Since the body is no longer active, it will actually start to cool, and this cooling will actually inhibit the bacteria growth. However, in warmer climates, the body will retain a higher body temperature. This is probably where the main reason comes for uh, burial rites in warmer climates, insisting that the body is buried within 24 hours. The stiffening of the body or, uh, is due to what they call rigor mortis. Um, this takes place about three hours after death, but disappears about two days after death. It's due to a substance in the body called ATP, or adenosine triphosphate. The skin also will start to turn a greenish colour and slowly darken. Then you've got the various gases which are being produced within the body cavity and start to swell or bloat the body. These gases include methane, carbon dioxide and ammonia. Eventually though the skin will rupture at some point and these gases will escape. Eventually, all of the, the body is left behind is just the teeth and the bones. Everything else has been digested. And that's what happens when human bodies die.